Hello and welcome to PWR 209, which is now called Writing in the Digital Age. As you can probably guess, I'm Alex Reed, professor for this class. Um, some of you I've met before, some of you I have had in online classes, uh, others I uh, have not yet met, um, but I will certainly meet you virtually and uh, perhaps I will meet you face-to-face uh, -face as well. So I wanted to start off um, by telling you a little bit about myself. I'm going to ask you to all to introduce yourselves as well, not necessarily in video form, though you can do that if you like, um, but I'll get us started. So I've been at Corkland since 2001, and I'm the director now of the Professional Writing Program, which we're taking a course. Maybe some of you are uh, professional writing majors. And this is my area of specialty, I guess you could say. Uh, I study new media and writing and uh, composition in networked environments, writing in networked environments, uh, things of that nature. And I just uh, published a book about it, uh, which I'm actually kind of excited about. It's been a, a long process. Uh, that said, I do actually have a life outside of this little box that uh, you see me in. Um, behind you, uh, me here, you can see uh, what's my office in my house here, uh, and just outside of Syracuse. And uh, I live here with my wife and two grade school kids, and I'm going to be coaching their soccer team, for God's sake. So, uh, yes, I do have a life outside of uh, this little game that we're playing, um, and I'm sure you do as well, so I'll be interested to... Uh, see what you want to tell us uh, about yourself. So anyway, that's a little bit about me and I'm sure uh, we'll all be finding out something about uh, one another as uh, we move forward this semester. So obviously this is an online course. Um, most of the learning, if not all of the learning, will take place in some kind of online environment, but that doesn't mean that uh, we can't meet face to face. I do uh, actually come down to campus, believe it or not, and so you can find me there. My office is Old Main 115A, and you can check the syllabus for the office hours, but I will be, I think my office hours are Thursday afternoon, like 1 to 2.50, something in that range. Um, so you can come and meet me then or make an appointment because I will be down on other days as well. Uh, in addition to the face-to-face -face time, I will have so-called virtual office hours uh, where you can um, be sure to be able to get to me via, say, instant message or by email. Or you can even uh, you know, call my office. Uh, my extension is 2069. Um, again, I probably won't actually be in my office during my virtual office hours, uh, but my voicemail is sent directly to my email, so I will be quickly aware of any message you leave me and I'll be able to get back in touch with you uh, very quickly. So uh, that gives you face-to-face -face office hours, uh, instant message, uh, where my IM address is uh, prof Alex Reed, and then uh, an email and phone. So uh, there are a range of things, and later on uh, we will uh, explore some other uh, possibilities, but I'm sure that those are all ones that are uh, directly available to you. Okay, so since you've managed to make it to see this video, that means that you've either come to the course blog or the course wiki and so you should consider this to be your first day of class I guess you could say and since this is the first day of class um, one of the things you should definitely do is check out the course syllabus uh, which you should find a link to from where you are and on that syllabus you'll find all the things you expect to find the course readings the assignments how you're going to be graded course policies the schedule all that kind of business I'm not going to go over it in this video but um, Please do take a look at it, familiarize yourself with it, and uh, let me know if you have any kinds of questions uh, that I might be able to answer. Um, I think it's fairly straightforward. Uh, once you've looked at the syllabus, you'll see that um, there are a couple things that you need to do this week. Specifically, uh, in the first week, uh, the task is to become familiar with the basic tools that we will be using for communicating and working together. Those would include uh, the course blog and wiki, and also setting up your own personal blog. So when you go to wherever you are, whether you're on the blog or the wiki, I, I've sort of been putting things in multiple places to get us started. Uh, you should be able to see a video that will show you how to set up your own free blog on Blogger. You should be able to see a video 
that um, will show you how to get into TypePad and post a message in TypePad. And I don't think I've created one yet for the wiki, although um, there is one already there that was created by the PB Wiki folks that you can check out. And I think you'll see that it's all pretty easy in technical terms anyway uh, to post to those things. So your first task this week is really to just post to these different places and get a feeling uh, for what all those things are like and also to check out our iTunes University site because that's another thing that uh, we'll be using uh, fairly early on. Um, one of the challenges, this is the second time I've taught this class online and uh, early on last semester a number of the students felt uh, uncertain about how to make all these different things work. Um, ultimately, as the semester went on, certainly a couple weeks into the semester, uh, the students generally felt pretty comfortable with using the various uh, parts of the course, the blog and the wiki and the personal blog and so forth. And so I think that I'm not really worried about it right now. I'm sure you might be feeling some apprehension. Um, you might not be particularly experienced with technology, and that's okay because I assure you that most of your classmates are in the same position and also most of the students who were in the class last semester were also in that position and yet they all managed to be fairly successful or at least certainly they weren't held back by any kind of technical problems and I think you'll find that I'm uh, very quick to uh, provide you with technical support. So you know the main thing is that you need to get out there and experiment with uh, what you're doing and uh, then uh, within a couple weeks you'll find that it's all pretty much secondhand and uh, that it's really not that difficult. So we're going to be doing a lot of exciting things this semester. Uh, in addition to creating your own personal blog and setting that up, you're going to be recording your own audio podcasts and sharing those with your classmates. You'll be uh, producing a video in collaboration with other students in the class. You'll participate in a viral marketing program online with students from another college, and you'll be exploring the world of Second Life, which is a kind of virtual, uh, three-dimensional world uh, that's online that uh, you might have already heard of. And so I'm really looking forward to uh, doing all those things, uh, helping you to try out uh, what it means to live in a digital age and try and communicate in a digital age. And I'm hoping that by the time the semester's over, you'll uh, feel pretty confident with all these things, feel like you can go out and keep doing the things that interest you uh, with technology more and see how these things might uh, be part of your life, um, you know, professionally, personally, whatever it is uh, that you think will be important. So I look forward to hearing from you and learning about you and uh, seeing what you're capable of here in this class and uh, you'll be seeing more of me pretty soon. Take care.